Morning, Chris. Morning, John. How are you doing? All right. Very good. Good. Well, I've got a prosumer device. Um, and I've got a Panasonic tablet. Should we go and do some drive tests? Great. Excellent. All right. Okay, so we've got both devices mounted in the car now. So what we've got is we've got diagnostics on both of them, and that's taking information about the GPS, the antennas, signal strength. So all the information that we're collecting on those devices. Yeah. Um, so then what we can do is we can analyze that and get a true side-by-side -side comparison of how those two devices are running in the same vehicle, same location. Yeah. And then obviously with that data, we'll be able to tell the difference in the, the, the performance of the antennas. You know, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Prosumer yeah. versus the, the Panasonic top bed. Now one of the things I really notice is the, the incredible performance of the Panasonic screen there compared to this mirror that is in front of me. That's the IPS technology in our fantastic screen here, Chris. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at those results we just run on that road test there. So what we can see here is with the diagnostics we just run, with the G1, we can see we've got a perfect GPS all the way around. We can see the signal going in and out, but we've held connectivity. If we now look at the prosumer device, we can see here we've got a lot of loss of connectivity. We've got areas here we've lost GPS and connectivity totally. So Chris, you can clearly see that the, the antenna performance for the, the G1 is much better than the yep. prosumer tablet, but you can still see a couple of red spots where connectivity is completely lost. Yeah. What do we do about that? We can address that with mobility. So mobility is going to hold the session. It gives you persistent um, session between the applications, so it keeps it all running in the background. So, so basically the guy stays connected, still able to do his job. Still, still be able to do his job. Order. He's not going to drop out. He doesn't have to reconnect. So. What we can do now is we can do another test. What we'll do is just get a G1, put mobility on it, and we can show you. Excellent. Explain to me what I'm looking at here, Chris. Okay, so we're going to do the test now with mobility. Yeah. Um, so we've got the G1, we've now got mobility running. Um, this is just the, the control window that's showing that mobility's running, what yep. network, IP address, things like that's typically hidden. This, this window here is a remote desktop, so yep. we've got a, a video running, remote desktop, so just showing a live client server just simulating, type application. You know, what the, what the workers will be using, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so it just keeps going, we can actually see that, that running all the time. And then the screen behind, it's just um, a, a tool we've got running at the moment. Um, you typically wouldn't see that. When it's green, we're in coverage. When it's orange or red, we knew we've lost coverage. Okay, so, so this is a visible indication. Yeah, so the engineer wouldn't see this, it will be running in the background. It yeah, the engineer wouldn't see. I mean, effectively, from the engineer's point of view, he'd just be connected all the time. He wouldn't see that drop. Okay. Um, but just from our point of view, so we can actually see it working and prove it's working, we can just see that, that colour. Okay, so green is connected, everything's good. Yeah. Orange is uh, when it's disconnected. Orange is disconnected, yeah. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. So let's go and do a drive. Oh, so there we go, Chris. Okay, so we lost connectivity. Um, you can see the video's paused. Yeah. Oh, and it's green. Wow. Okay. And that was coming. quick, yeah. And we didn't drop the connection to the, the back end server, it's no. still running the application. To be honest with you, I hardly even noticed it. I mean, if, it, if I hadn't even noticed the, the green and yellow switch, we wouldn't have noticed it as, a, as an end user, right? Yeah. So basically, that whole process of flicking in between the connective connection and no connection means that the engineer still maintains his connection to the office, still gets his jobs, you know, he's still being 100% efficient, right? No loss of applications, higher productivity. Um, you know, he doesn't have to worry about connecting, he doesn't have to worry about the screen, just leaves it there and just drives to the next job. Everything's just working in the background. So the other thing we've got is, is policy. And what we can do with policy is to determine how a device works yep. in terms of application. So it may be we want to restrict a user going into a roamed network. Yep. Um, so when they go over a border or something like that, maybe a hospital application, restricting what access to information. Maybe you walk out of a hospital ward and we can then stop that application running. Yep. Or even simple, like um, somebody's taking a tablet home and maybe during the day you want them to run business applications, but in the evening you want them to allow them to run something like iPlayer or some video or collaboration type technology. Yep but only on um, an unpaid network like the home broadband. Okay. So we can set you know, a timed policy to say after five o'clock in the evening, you can do iPlayer, nine o'clock in the morning, you're back onto your work applications. Okay. So what I've got here is um, we've set a policy up on here and what it's gonna show is it's gonna show when we're going to restrict a network 
we're going to get a pop-up coming up to say the applications have been restricted from being used. So this is just simulating something like somebody roaming into a network out of their coverage, maybe a roamed network. Yeah. Okay, so, so like the, if the engineer, for instance, sees a, you know, a, a Wi-Fi hotspot and he tries to connect to it, you can block that with a policy, yeah? Yeah, we can block that with a policy. Yeah, so there we are. We just um, roamed into a restricted network and it's popped up the message. So we just put a message in there for this test, just showing that it was a restricted network. But that could be anything, you know, the user from your application point of view, it could be a pop-up, anything you want to, to tell that user that they're not allowed to use that at the time. Excellent. So we can basically block on non-secure networks. Block unsecure networks, them using different applications. You know, it's, it's really you controlling what applications um, can run in what network. If the user had a problem, um, didn't know what to do, the support desk could say, okay, press your diagnostics button, and it's gonna send all that information back so they can actually see what's going on back at base okay. and help the user. So all we need to do is we need to press this diagnostic button here. Okay, and okay. got diagnose network That's button. the one, okay. And all the information about that system now has gone back and has been sent back to the support desk. So now they're in connectivity with each other and they can actually diagnose what's going on and help that, that user. Excellent. I'm really, really looking forward to after all this hard work we've done together to what's coming next.